The second solo of Clarence Green's Crazy Strings is really fun. And this is one of the most unique solos, I think, in an electric blues guitar excuse me, history. And he winds up the last thing by going like this. And then into the second solo, he's going to go right here. Playing that, another kind of rollicking lick, this time on the treble strings. He leans into it with something like that. Like that. That's the first lick, something I'm pretty close. I don't know exactly what he's playing. I usually play where I slide from the fifth fret to the sixth fret on the third string. And then I go back and forth between the second fret of the fifth string and the third fret. 6th fret, 5th fret of the 2nd string, sorry, 6th fret of the 3rd string. And you pick that twice. Then you get a band to the 7th fret of the 2nd string. Back to the 5th fret of the 2nd string. Like that. And then he's going to slide into an E, double stop. Sounds like he's sliding from the 7th fret to the 9th fret on the 2nd string to the 7th fret of the 1st string. So the whole thing so far. And he just does that a couple times. And sometimes he hits that note once, sometimes he hits it twice. Winds it up. Check the tab to get the exact thing if you want it that way. I just play. Something like that. And then he does this really cool lick and he leads into it with either the fifth fret of the second string or the fifth fret of the first string. It's one of those notes. I can't remember offhand. Check the tab. He's doing this little lick. And he's got his first finger anchored on the 5th fret, 1st and 2nd strings. And he's picking the 7th fret of the 1st string and pulling off. And then doing another pull off on the 8th fret to the 5th fret of the 2nd string. And he just does that throughout you know, most of this part. Then he does something like that. A little lick to get back into the, you know, the basic, get the tempo back before he goes to the five. So the whole thing. I don't have the timing right, but that's what he's playing. Listen to the song. And then he goes to another one of these things. And this time, instead of playing over the A, shaped E, he's playing over the F shaped E, and he's doing a hammer-on between the 15th and the 12th frets of the first string, something like that. So he's picking the 15th fret and then doing the hammer-on. Then he does it on the second string, 15th fret to 12th, and then 14 to 12 on the third string. 14 to 12 on the 4th string. So the whole thing. And then he does a little climb. Like that. From the 14th fret of the 5th string, 12, 14 on the 4th string. And then he's going to do this. And what I'm hearing is this. He's got his 1st finger still anchored on the 12th fret of the 1st and 2nd strings. And he's going to bend up the 3rd string at the 14th fret. I'm using my ring finger on the 14th fret and my 2nd finger on the 13th fret. And then he's getting the 2nd and 1st string. Does it twice. Then he's going to get the 1st fret, or I'm sorry, the 12th fret of the 1st string to the 15th fret to the 12th fret on the 2nd string. So like this. Something 
something like that, or like he did last verse. And then this again, pretty much the same that he ended, same lick he ended up the last solo verse with. So let me try to play that whole thing all the way through slowly. I may screw it up, but I'll do the best I can. So it's like this. the second solo. The rest of the song is pretty pretty simple and almost identical to what we've already done. Alright, and he does this again. This time the horn section comes in and plays the dun 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 dun, dun and then he's going to come in with an E ninth chord and then into the bass. doing this and then for the horn what I do when I play it just guitar is I play a little bass version of that hopping run something like that on the sixth string and I'm doing the second lick that he did from the fourth fret with the open six fifth seven ninth and then and it just gives a little contrast from playing Instead of doing that again, let's do something different. And you could even do... You could do a lot of things there and kind of imitate what the horns are doing if you're not lucky enough to have a horn section. So that's all that one is. That's pretty simple verse. Stop time and the end tag for Clarence Green's Crazy Strings. This next one, he does something kind of cool. He does this again. And then he's going to do this. And so he's starting on the seventh fret with the open, doing the same kind of lick we've done twice before. Then he goes to the ninth. And then back to the seventh, to the fifth, and does it that way. So the first time we did it this way, the second time we did it this way, now we're going to do it, and then, and then back into the bass. And then he's going to go to the end tag, which is just... Playing this leg. From an E flat ninth to an E ninth. Now, as I was listening to parts of it here before I showed that part, I, I found another variation in the bass run that I didn't teach, and I'll have it on the tab. But when he goes back to the one, the previous verse, he does something like this. And that's another little variation. I think he only does it once. So he's going open six, fourth fret, open fifth, and then one two on the fifth string. Kind of cool. And then back to that or something like that. If you listen to the song, check the tab. You'll see there might even be a couple other variations that I forgot. And then the ending, he's just. timing on the last time around where he goes five to the four to the one it's a little different it's like then he's going to stop there
part that I don't have the timing down, I'm sorry, I should. I usually don't play it like this, but this. He does something there right before he gets ready to go to the five. Listen to the original tune, check the tab, and you'll, you'll see what's going on. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you haven't heard this instrumental before, check it out. I'm going to post it, a link to it on my Facebook page for Old School Blues Guitar. And it's on YouTube. That's where I found it. I have it on an old cassette tape that I transferred to an MP3 file a long time ago that I still have. And it's Clarence Green. There is a CD called Clarence Green and the Rhythm Airs, but it's out of print and it sells for hundreds, over $100 in some cases. There's an old LP called Texas Shuffle that has this song and a couple other Clarence Green songs on it. I've never seen that offered on, on CD, or at least not yet. And it's not on iTunes or Amazon Digital. I've never seen it anywhere where you could download it. So check YouTube and, and listen to that for the song before you dive into the lesson. Hope you enjoyed this, and I will be back again with some more great instrumentals. Just a reminder that I won't have my normal set of lessons until February 2017. I'm taking some time off and organizing and trying to spend more time on the tap. Hope you enjoy this. See you soon.